In the UK, one in two of us will be diagnosed with cancer at some point in our lifetimes. That is a terrifying statistic. Yet unless you or someone close to you has been through it, it can be hard to really comprehend the experience. And whilst everybody's journey is different, one woman has made a VR experience to illustrate hers. It is uh, the last chemo today. BAFTA award-winning filmmaker Victoria Mapplebeck has created The Waiting Room. Combining a smartphone shot video documentary and this virtual reality experience, she aims to fully immerse the audience in the unnerving position of being up close and personal with cancer diagnosis, treatment and, in this case, recovery. I wanted to make visible the often invisible parts of cancer treatment, the hair loss and the nausea and the fear and the effect on family. This reconstruction of Victoria's final radiotherapy session is combined with a CGI journey through her body, looking at the cancer cells and what CT scans, mammograms and ultrasounds found. When the experience first starts, you can initially feel as though you are actually the patient. Then when you look down, you realise you're not, you're a fly on the wall. What made you want to do this as somebody looking at what was going on rather than being the person experiencing it? So we did at the beginning of the project think very hard about did we want it to be an embodied experience where effectively you are the patient and I felt quite uncomfortable with that and I wanted instead to sort of create a kind of fly on the wall perspective. You feel that it's very intimate, you feel that you're looking right down on me, almost next to me. What were the benefits that you felt there were in conveying this in virtual reality? So in flat film, you're in the cinema and you're looking at the kind of uh, what's happening to the characters, what's happening to the story. You're not necessarily thinking about your own position within that. With VR, you're almost thinking, who am I? What am I doing in this space? This was shot on a head-mounted GoPro. Some more interactive elements, like allowing the user to hear their own heartbeat and breath, have been trialled. But I agreed with Victoria's conclusion that they were actually distracting. Midway through chemo, I ask my oncologist if they still have my tumour samples. When it came to sound, though, subtle effects could convey profound meaning. Oh, hi, yeah, it's just that. Um, um, if, if you would like that. We have the actual sound of the scene with the nurses around you and you hear them around you as they are. So we, we created this relationship compass of um, voices. So we have her son in the center of her life, then we have the father is basically on the right hand side in the back on the opposite side of the mom. Then we have uh, to the left and to the right we have her brothers. We feel you have a better chance. Then we have Mr. Garg, the oncologist, which is basically a little bit above the sun because he's also right in this situation in the centre of her life. Wow, that was quite something. Amazing storytelling, but also I think the thing that really, really stood out to me was a feeling of loneliness, of being really isolated in being the person who has cancer, going through all that treatment where your life sort of enters another zone and hearing all the voices of friends, of family, of medical experts, but still feeling quite lonely inside. Oh God, it is. It's more than I thought. Victoria came to make this, feeling there wasn't enough out there from the patient's perspective. And now she's hoping for funding to take the project to hospitals and cancer centres to share her experience.